Okay, question 11. Laura's a skier, she completes a ski race in 1 minute 54 seconds and it's 475 metres long. We assume that she has the average speed for each race. How long will it take her to do 700 metres? Now you could work out her speed in metres per second or even metres per minute and then translate that to speed equals distance over time 700 metres. But there's an easier way. We can say 475 metres takes her, we can use a ratio really, so distance, time, change the time into seconds, so 60 plus 54, 114 seconds. So it's just 475 metres in 114 seconds. So, work out how, far, how long it will take her to do one metre, and then we can work out how far 700 metres takes her, or how long. So to get from 475 metres to one metre, we just divide by 475. So 114 divided by 475 is 0 0.24. So she'll do one meter in 0 0.24 seconds. So to work out how long it takes to do 700 meters, we times by 700. Which gives us 168 seconds. It says give your answer in minutes and seconds. So we have to divide that by 60 to get the number of minutes. If we can't look at it and just go, well, yeah, it's two point something minutes. We get 2.8 minutes. So that's two minutes. And rather than focusing on the 0.8 minutes, we'd say, well, two minutes is 120 seconds. So I've got a remainder of 48 seconds. Okay. Part B said her average, her speed actually increases the more she does. So if her speed increases between 475 and 700, then her average speed will also increase. And if her average speed increases, then her time will decrease. So part B would say this would make the overall time um, shorter or faster or something like that. Okay. It doesn't get longer. It doesn't get... Uh, yeah, just be careful with your wording. So the overall time is shorter or the overall, uh, she completes it faster so the time goes down. Something like that. Okay.